I'm EJ. And I'm Shelia. <laughs> <laughs> good morning. Good morning. How are you? <sighs> I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I am too. I am too. I want to thank everybody for all of the um, kind of well wishes. My family reunion weekend last weekend yes. in North Carolina was wonderful, wonderful. Um, it was four years of the making. Wow. Um, yeah, we do it every two years. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, we had to cancel before. And um, it was just so much fun. I mean, folks just came. It was very relaxed, very casual. Um, it was it was so great to see everyone. It was good. Mm -hmm. I, I thoroughly nice. enjoyed it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, um, so if you all have noticed, it's it's uh, EJ and I today. It will be EJ and I going forward. Uh, Gary texted us early this morning to say that he will no longer be making Sunshine Stitchers videos in the interest of focusing on Garon Stitchery. Yep. So. Um, a text. Oh uh, yeah, he, yes right, he, he sent us a text. Yeah. I didn't say that. I don't know. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he sent us a text. And um, so so it's us. Yes. And we are the Sunshine Stitchers. We are the Sunshine Stitchers. We are going to continue as the Sunshine Stitchers. Yes. And um, he's going to focus on Garon. That's it. All righty. So we had quite a few comments that I read this week. And so we want to thank you, as always, for uh, your comments. And as always, I'm going to highlight those that either had questions or, or were of some interest. Um, mm -hmm. Not they're all interesting, but <laughs> maybe had a topic or a question that and might be of interest us. to others. Yes. That's, that's what I mean. Um, Sue L. Um, suggested, so this is all related to your five seasons. <laughs> Thank you for cheering me up. That was, that was nice. <laughs> Thank you, Sue. <laughs> there were several comments on the five seasons. seasons yes. Uh, including one person who I think she was actually being serious mm -hmm. to say that when she was in school, they learned there were four seasons. But <laughs> Christmas season is okay. I mean, it was, it was kind Christmas of serious. <laughs> that was okay. Yeah. Um, so Sue <clears throat> L mm -hmm. said that the seasons could be winter, spring, summer, and fall, winter, spring, summer, and school. Yes. I thought you would I, yes. identify with that. I agree. Because there really, there really is a, a, like, school starts in August. Like, it doesn't start in, like, it's so weird. But the, yes, I agree. Marcia, or Marcia C, mm -hmm. said that she likes the vertical flow of the shading and the fabric because it looks like snow falling. Yes. yes. So I thought Thank that you. was pretty cool. Thank you so much. Yes. And then I wasn't sure. Agnes P mm. said um, Donder instead of Donner. Was that one of your pieces? It was Gary's piece. Okay. Um, the Erica Michaels. Oh, that's it, it, yeah. I think he misspelled Donner and put Donder, or the chart said Donder instead sure. of Donner. Correct. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, and we have a couple <laughs> of folks who commented that they're new to us. Hi. At, but they're going back and watching all of our previous episodes. All of them. This is episode one ninety eight. All of them. All of them. And my. <sighs> Tip of the hat to you. Here, I'm even Here. taking cheers. Cheers to you. So this, this now, one. before okay. So be, this is not a mimosa. No, but Shelia was telling me how healthy this drink is. Yes. Tell them what's the ingredients. This is a Jamaica mm -hmm. tequila mm -hmm. in sparkling water. Mm -hmm. The Jamaica is a berry. Oh, sorry. The Jamaica is a berry. Berries 
have antioxidants and it's a fruit. <laughs> and this is Saturday morning. <laughs> and wait, vodka is a god. No, tequila, tequila is a is a god. Tequila is a, from the agave plant. Mm -hmm. So this is cheers, like healthy. Healthy. Yes. There you go. <laughs> and water. Let's not forget water is good for and you. Water hydrates you. <laughs> so, did I rationalize <laughs> yes. the hell out of that? <laughs> you know, I should have this every day, like the way you speak. That's right. That's right. It tastes almost, I think it tastes close to like a pomegranate. It's not the sparkling water? It is sparkling water, but the- Is that flavored the, sparkling water? No, it's a plain sparkling water with the Jamaica tequila. Really? Yeah. So I'm the gonna, red color is the tequila? tequila? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh. Berries. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and thank you everybody who helped me with the correct pronunciation of that. Mm -hmm. Um, Joy Lisa, Ink Circles, the wood tray that I, the star pattern wood tray that yes. I brought back. I don't, it's not a tray. It's more like a, maybe a pot thing. I don't know, but it's a shape of a star and it's a wood. trivet, like a trivet? trivet, like a trivet. Okay. Um, she suggested that you take oh. a look at Ink Circles Tangled Ooh. Fire yes. for the colors. And I looked up the, the chart. And the colors are amazing. I see, and that was one of my maybe I want to stitch that later. Oh, really? That, yeah, that was because it's all of, I love those colors. Yes, they're very vibrant, very joyful. Mm -hmm. But very, it's very like you could easily get lost and, and mess up on that. Yeah. Like there's no give. <laughs> <laughs> like one stitch off, the whole thing is like, oh, not working. But yes, thank you, Joy. And your last video, um, you mentioned that you were in, are interested in learning how to quilt. Yes. And there are a ton of quilting uh, videos out there that will show you all about, but you want a, a class. And we do yeah. have local quilt stores, so. I thought going, we had one, but it closed. No, there's two others in the area. Really, I didn't know that. Yeah, okay, so we'll hook yeah. you up. Okay. And plus, I'm afraid of the needle, so like, but but somebody you know Vicky Vicky Gable yeah stitch and button yeah she's because I'm afraid of when you're if you're um, the needle it can pop and fly in your eye oh she, <laughs> I know it's irrational on a it's, sewing it's, machine yeah I don't know it's just like the needle I don't know it's like uh but Vicky look Vicky first of all laughed at me <laughs> she's like the likelihood of that happening and I'm only not <laughs> laughing because I'm still trying to digest like I'm just the afraid the like, component of it I, maybe like if the fabric is too thick something it can break it but can. if it breaks it can pop off no because it gets stuck in the fabric it's in the fabric it never it flies out I've never had that heard done? of that and I've had needles that break because uh -huh. I was trying to sew something that was too thick for the size of needle that I had in the machine. Uh -huh. I'm not one that will change a, a machine needle yeah. size. Uh -huh. I, uh, it's in there, make it work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I have broken needles, mm -hmm. but it's always broken in the fat. In the fat, in the, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, the, when they come up, the only the rest of it comes up. Gotcha. Because it's screwed in to the to the thing. shaft of the, the yeah. Thing. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh my God! Speaking of shaft, <laughs> so, so I'm teaching my nieces how to stitch. <laughs> oh, <no>. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so you know they don't care about needles. They they don't care that it's sharp. They're like you know it's whatever. So my my niece, so she pokes it, she pokes the needle in, and then she she takes it out, and then she you know wraps it around or something, and then she kept like holding the needle like like pulling the needle from the tip, <laughs> and I just kept saying, not the tip, the shaft, <laughs> not the tip, the shaft, <laughs> grab it in the shaft. So oh, yeah. after a while, you hurt yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And you're thinking, 
Oh, what I, am I saying? What, and why am I saying this like that? <laughs> Not the tip. <laughs> oh my God, your yeah. poor nieces. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about some yeah. stitches. So, so are we done? Done? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, that was the end of okay, the comment. Okay, yes. yes. Okay, so do you have any finishes this week? Oh, uh, no. Okay, I do. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. This is the last of my holiday stitching. Oh, here, let me put this behind it just for some extra stability. This is the last mm -hmm. of my holiday stitching. Can you get it close? Yeah. Um, Snowy Deer from the Frosted Forest series by Country Cottage Needlework. So I used the DMC. Uh, it was called for DMC and I believe there might have been one uh, variegated floss and I just used the DMC version of mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. uh, I yeah. also used some beads Sweet. for the kind of confetti like um, snow that was supposed to be falling and the oh, yeah. button that was included with the chart. Super cute. Yeah. Are you done with your Christmas stitching? I'm, this is the last of my Christmas Woo stitching. Woo! You, this July is very, very, well, I very good for you. Yeah, was, well, see, I, I'm so glad I started in May yeah. because I would still be stitching on Christmas. I didn't get a lot of stitching done last week. Mm -hmm. First off, I spent the first part of the week um, working with our uh, Hugongas giveaway. Uh, and then I left town for the reunion. And while I took this with me, I probably got 20 stitches in it. Gotcha. But you finished it. But I finished it. So now. So that, okay. So now in, 20, in our 2023 20, calendar in May, you should say, you should write. May, May start I'm start yes, Christmas stitching. Yes. Yes. Because that really, it took the pressure off. And had I not had so much going on last week, I mm -hmm. definitely would have finished it last mm -hmm. week. So. Nice. Yeah. All right, so that's the finish. Did you have any starts this week? No starts, but I do plan. Okay, so let me tell you, for those who are out there, if you're on the fence of starting a Chatelaine, Kitchy Whips, Kitchy Whips, she's a she's a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. She's so supportive. And I know um, Memphis Sarah E is starting a Chatelaine. And I'm going to be starting a Chatelaine with a bunch, um, with Laurel Ann. I kept, I'm, I'm, I'm saying a lot of names. I know. Okay. I'm trying so, to write. I know. <laughs> okay. So let's backtrack. So Kitchy. look, Kitchy Whips. Whips. K-I-T-C-H-Y. Kitchy. Yeah. Or with an S. One, with an S or with a C. K-I-T-S-C-H-Y. Yeah, something like that. Okay. We'll it's going to be in the description. Kitchy Whips, Memphis Sarah E. e. She started one. Okay. And okay, but all of this started with Laurel Ann. Laurel Ann, mm -hmm. she's on YouTube as well. Um, we were talking on virtual stitchers and we're like, oh yes, we have the Chatelaine. And then we both said, okay, let's start one. But we wanted some conditions to it. So after seven finishes, six or seven finishes, six finishes, we said we're going to start our Chatelaine. Oh. So she had her six finished a month ago. And I just had my six finished, seventh finish. I was counting my, you know, well, hello there, little ones. <laughs> so, um, so we have our required amount of finishes. And so we decided to start our Chatelaine October 7th. Oh, okay. To enable folks to kit up. Because yes. I know that is a big <laughs> deal. Yeah, but if you have your shadow lane and you don't have the stuff yet, you can definitely start with the DMC. I was going to say, you don't need all of the no, things. No, you don't. But if you want to start a shadow lane, thinking about starting a shadow lane, come join us and stitch a shadow lane. <laughs> yeah. Because I think some of the treasures are hard to find. Yes. And there is a... European cross stitch. That's a, that is the name? Mm -hmm. Okay, European cross stitch. Yes. Where you can get all of the... the Stuff. The, yeah, and they will fully kit it for you. Yes. But it does take them quite a bit of time. Correct. So if you have, if you're thinking of something, and there mm -hmm. also there's little smalls mm -hmm. and freebies. 
-hmm. So if you don't want to deep dive into Shadow Lane, there are little freebies that you can um, get. Oh, okay, that are from the same designer? Yeah, correct. Oh. And then you can use your own floss and you have your own little beads. Like oh, it's not. Okay. All right. Yeah. You can even throw a treasure in there if, if you, you have, have from correct. something else. Correct. Very nice. So October 7th is our start. And then we're trying to figure out a day that we're going to um, stitch on it, which comes Kitschy Whips. <laughs> Kitschy Whips is a, she's hilarious. She's a hoot. Go okay. watch her. Okay. Um, right. she, she does Chatelaine Wednesdays. Oh. So every Wednesday, she encourages everybody to take out their Chatelaine and to stitch on it. Oh, nice. So, oh, and that's nice because that's your birthday month. Yes. Oh, very nice. Yes. Okay, well, yes. I might find a, a small. Oh, nice. Do. Okay. And you'll love, they have specialty stitches. And to, there are some with less specialty stitches and others with a lot more. So. Yeah, yeah. So, Kitschy Whips. And then I, you know, Sarah start. Okay, so but now we're back to Sarah. So Sarah messaged, um, did a message saying she's starting her shadow lane. I said, oh, congratulations. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm, I'm already nervous. <laughs> and, and then I, and then Kitchy Whips commenting on it, saying, okay, I'm going to rely on her. She's like, no problem. Come tell everybody. Yes. I'm like, yeah, that's All what right. I'll do. October seventh. Um, shadow lane. Candy L finished her. Yes, evening in the park. Yes, and it is beautiful, beautiful. gorgeous, Just gorgeous. Yeah. Congratulations, Candy. Yeah, because we That's we a, had an opportunity to sort of watch you work on yes. quite a bit of it. Yes. And, you did a just fabulous job and it's beautiful. It. Good job. I'm sure it has place of pride yes. in your home. It sure yes. would. Uh, yeah. Okay, whips. Ooh, let's see your whips. I'm I'm here with my whip. She does. She actually has a stack. Look at this. Ah! ah oh my That's goodness. That's my stack. Yes. Okay, so August is arbitrary August. Yes. Okay. Oh, so, arbitrary. I like that. That wasn't mine. This is all stitching mommy's brainchild. That's fine. Yeah. Ar ar I like that. Arbitrary. Let's be arbitrary. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> so it's arbitrary August. And what I've been working on all year is my whip go board, right? Yes. And there are some months, okay, the ones in yellow highlighted are completed. Oh, sorry. The one in yellow, that's orange. The one in orange, like the numbers in orange are completed, right? Right here on the side. So I'm thinking, so I thought, okay, I want to finish my whip go. I at least try to get a couple of whip go, you know, lines. So um, I decided to put all of my projects on a, on a tiny decisions wheel. And every day, starting on the second, I didn't do that on the first, starting on the second, I um, spun the wheel and we have our arbitrary August fulfilled and we have our whip go trying to fill this in. Oh, so far I have two boxes not completely filled because of that. Cause I needed, cause my goal is to have five days. Yes. I've had maybe a day or two missing. Okay. So because it caught, got called, it was done. Okay. Yeah. So, and this is my whip go board for those. So I'm so sorry. So the sorry. orange is where you met the goal. Mm, right. Orange is what I meant to go right here. Yes. But over here, I had to color code it. Okay. Call and finish is pink. Oh. Call did not finish is orange, which I don't know why I did that here. Yeah. And then not called it but finished is in green. Okay. All right. And I put little hash marks, tally marks for the mm -hmm. days I've completed it. Okay. So I'm trying to keep track there. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. I worked on, even though it's not part of my whip go, mm -hmm. I worked on Temperature Butterfly. Yay! Cheers. I'm not taking little sips. That is good. <laughs> That's good. You see how hot it's been? <laughs> yeah. But this is April. March, April. Yeah, this is April. So temperature butterfly, I'm working on, I have the first 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days of April. Wow. That's my stitching mommy. Oh, somebody wants to know about the circular yes. um, orientation. And it's by Stitching Mommy, not yes. Handwork Maniac. I think we have to oh, adjust I, that. Oh, I, I sent her the wrong information. Yeah, oh, we're going to so adjust that. Yeah. So, um, Stitching Mommy. Yes. St I messaged Stitching Mommy and, you know, we t we, I was talking about how would I get it to be in a circular frame or in a circle. And she's like, oh, that's interesting. Let me get back to you. And then when she came back to me, it was completed and she sent me the 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 pdf where the pattern is in the circle if you're interested you may want to contact her and say this is what you want and i'm sure she saved the file she's stitching mommy on youtube stitching mommy on youtube and on etsy okay yeah okay so that was one mm -hmm. and then oh i worked on <laughs> and finished See, nothing's here, right? Right. That's just my middle point for the next month. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, why didn't you tell us for finishes? I did. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've completely forgot. That's <laughs> okay. But I finished June. It's all crooked, but that's, that's okay. Right. There it is. This is Hello June by Hens. Hands-on design. Yes, hands-on design. Um, the hello in the June was completed. I just had to complete the border around it. So hello, June. And we're just missing the buttons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that the top three are completed, mm -hmm. or the six is completed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fully finish the top three mm -hmm. so I can still have room for the bottom three so when i need to roll it or whatever and this so is you don't have so much to roll exactly well. and this is it's on my nerd well, ready have to, oh, okay yeah then you can get some buttons on them yeah and, yeah that would yeah. be nice that's a nice milestone yeah you have some buttons on some of them yeah very nice so yeah how are you liking your nerd i like the nerd yeah it's, um it it's not as it holds it but it's not too yeah, I, it, it does loosen, I have to say. But yeah. I'm okay with the loosening. I So I am not a stitcher who necessarily likes my fabric drum tight. I, because I change I change up my stitching technique mm -hmm. as I move through the piece. And there are times when I will actually do um, a, a sewing technique as opposed to a poking uh -huh. technique. And if it's drum tight, it's hard to do. It's hard to do that. Um, so, so I start out with it drum, and it's the same thing with the Q snap me too. for me too. I'm not the only time I I tighten it is when it gets really floppy loose. Yeah. But uh, but then most of mine are only on a Q snap or in a her uh, hoop or nerge for one day, so they rarely loosen up yeah. that much. Yeah. But they don't have to be drum tight. But I do, I'm still loving the nerge as well. I just saw someone who also was trying the nerge. She says she likes it mm -hmm. very much, but she likes her fabric drum tight. And she felt the Q snap kept it drum tight longer than, than the, nerge. the nerge. Yeah. I, I like, but it does start off nice and tight. It does. Mm -hmm. And it just relaxes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. after a while. And I'm okay with the relaxing. I am too. I am too. It just can't be, I can't do the floppy. Yeah, well, that's when I tighten. Oh, okay. That's when I reach it. But rarely, the only times things get floppy is if it's on a Q snap uh -huh. that I am leading the item on for an extended and then you... period of time. And I always have to, I loosen it up yeah. anyway when mm -hmm. I'm done with it. But anyway, that was a little impromptu nerge <laughs> comment. <laughs> nerge. Nerge. All right, so that's, well, hello there. A hands on design, okay. Hands on design. All right, we also have, okay. Oh, maybe I should have showed the pictures. Well, that's fine. This is five seasons of quilts. This there we saw. go. 
But this should be a hurricane season. Maybe Ooh. I can make one that's a hurricane and all you see are the quilts like flowy. So actually one, one commenter said that for those of us in Florida, we have two seasons, hurricane season and not hurricane season. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's true. I so, <laughs> my seasons of quilts. I'm doing the winter at home. And the five seasons, for those of you who are new, are winter, spring, summer, fall, and Christmas. Yes. <laughs> Officially. <laughs> Officially. <laughs> All right. And I started on the quilt. Oh. I saw on the first quilt right here. Oh, wow. So you've got it blocked out. Yes. Nice. Oh my goodness. So yeah. Very good. Oh, Five I've got to course. bring a pointer in here. Oh yeah. I've got one right across the way there. Okay. I need to have one over here. My tension is completely like I see the difference in tension. Like mm -hmm. some is looser than others. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's all right. It's just probably the way you were holding it at the time. Yeah. I know that's what and, happens with me. And for the white. For me, when you start stitching on it, it's not as fluffy. Mm -hmm. And then you can you continue mm -hmm. stitching with mm -hmm. the white, it becomes you fluffy. The same strand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the, you, you uh, use a long strand. So that's why, because <laughs> that poor strand is just getting beat up every time it passes through the fabric. But it has to understand that I hate threading. I do too, but I I eighteen inches is is long enough because once it gets it's long up to here it, from here to here oh okay that's not so bad okay i thought you were talking about something like you know thirty thousand right. feet long yeah no. oh. and then yes oh look at you yes abc de la borders from uh jargon privé Oh, yes, yes, yes. Haven't seen that one in a while. Yes, yeah, so oh, people are, I'm putting my daily progress on, um, what is this called? Instagram. Instagram. And people are like, oh, I, I love that you're, um, you're pulling out the ones that you haven't stitched on. And that is true. So, yes. So, just for reference, everything you've showed us so far has been on 32 count, right? Oh. We haven't been giving the That's fabric. a good question. Ooh. I think it pretty much was 32 count. Because I know definitely. Well, hello there was 32 count. White Lugana. The the butterfly is. The butterfly 32 is. Count? Probably. Okay. I don't think it's um, 28. I'm not sure. Okay. And the five seasons of quilt. It's a 32 count. Yeah. Vintage country mocha. Yeah. This is a 32 count banding. Hmm. I'm probably closer to a 28. No, it's a 32. I have a 32. Yeah, it, it is. I, I didn't think they made thing. banding in 32. I want to say it's a 32. Okay. Well, that's all right. That's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll go with you. All right. Wait, look at the X's. I know. That, I am, actually. It looks like a 28. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's all right. We can, we can figure it out later. It's something. <laughs> so here yeah. it is. It might, I mean, you know, what do I know? Wow, look at that. Look at that. Or ate a button. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say, <laughs> Miss Minnie. She calls it ate a, ate ate a, a button. button. <laughs> All right. So I worked on the pin cushion over here, and I worked on the letter G. All right. Pin cushion, the letter G. Nice. Thank you. Oh, wow. Looks good. Looking good. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, want me to put that back? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Woo. All right. And I forgot what, um, yeah, 38 or 22 count white banding. That's it. Oh, here it is. Yeah, 32 count banding. Oh, interesting. Okay. I had it here all along. All right. Hmm. 
it's a I love the colors. Her colors are awesome. Um, Natalie, which is the designer. Yes, Jardin Privé. Yes. yes. Okay, and then, um, not yesterday, but the day before yesterday, Candy's piece, Candy, the stitch one, the six one four stitcher. stitcher. Yes. Her her whip go call came up. And it's Harriet Tubman Ooh. by the Primitive Hair. Oh, what? Keep going, keep going. So this, I love this fabric. Look at the fabric. That is gorgeous. What is, do you remember what it is? Yes, it's, I didn't take off the tags. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, 32 count linen mm -hmm. melissus from Under the Sea Fabrics. Beautiful. This is gorgeous. I want more of this. Does she repeat her colors? Um, yes, you can buy this color. Okay, that is a gorgeous color. And she has a store now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I'll come and check it out. You didn't show the piece. Yeah, I'm going to. Oh, oh, I thought you were putting it back. Oh, no. <laughs> and so I stitched on the portrait part. Oh, okay. Of Harriet Tubman. I'm just making it manageable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> if it was on a board, I don't know, right? Yeah, I don't think it, it, it's <laughs> such a size that... Nice, nice. So I finished, I continued working on the oval outline yes and i started working on her hair the yes. darker part of her hair yes nice so this is harriet tubman by primitive hair yes candy's would go choice now it's still on because this is my first time working on it for my whip go so it's still it's in the wheel for a total it was on the wheel for a total of five times oh now that i stitched on it once now it, it's going to be down four so okay. it, it could be called four more times and we and this is the eighth month of the year so pretty much for the rest of the year and that'll be done for the year hmm? what the whip go goes through december right yes and it's on your whip go board what I'm, yes I'm yes okay because my goal is five days, right? Yes. So if I didn't stitch on it, I put it in my wheel, my yes. tiny decisions five times. Yes. Because now it's been uh -huh. called one time, it's now still in my wheel four more times. Got it. So you can touch it four more times. Exactly. Okay. And then it will be done. Okay. And then that would go, go will be done. Okay. All right. And then yesterday's uh, whip go call was, I didn't put it on Instagram yet. But Autumn Quaker. Oh. Autumn Quakers by Rosewood Manor. I enjoy stitching on this. Yes, isn't it? Isn't it I really fun? Did, yeah. I mean, it, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Every time I pick it up, I, I'm like, this is, this is enjoyable. I think there's, there's a lot of color change. Yeah. Like in this first motif. But I think she kind of tones it down yeah. later on, right? Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> because that first motif was yeah. like, oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Um, but so pretty and so well worth it. Right here. Oh, yes. And you're using the called Val for Valdani. Valdani and called for fabric, 28 count something. What's the 28 count the bloom. I was gonna say it looks like this one. Yeah. So I worked on this motif. Yes. Very nice. So there's um there's a new floss tube. Yes. Um fickle stitches. Fickle stitches with Kate Stitchy Artvark, which I talk oh, about a lot. Yes. And Cheryl, the blue nose stitcher. Oh, okay. She's on, they're both on Instagram, but now they have, they're doing a, like a, like a YouTube channel mm -hmm, together mm -hmm. called Kitchy, no, it's called Fickle Stitches. Okay. Yes. 
for Cheryl is going to start 50 projects for her 50th year, like her birthday. Next year? Starting in October. Oh, okay. So she's gonna start. 50 projects. 50 projects. You and go, she's gonna girl. start, um, she's gonna start Autumn Quaker on her birthday. Oh, In nice. October. Oh, nice. So I told her I'll stitch with her. Yes. Cause I already have it started. Uh, one of our other stitchy friends, Michelle, mm -hmm. is also doing, hmm, is it 50, Michelle? I think she's doing 50 starts. Starts too? Yes, yeah. next year. Yeah. Nice. Hmm. Yeah. I love that. I know, all I know is next year I'm going to start a lot of stuff. Yeah, because you'll have two years worth Two years of, to make up. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you realize that it doesn't matter. You're, you're going to roll around to them eventually. It's going to, they're going to get there maybe. Yeah, they'll get done at maybe. some point. And you know what? It's, it's, it's the experience. It's the journey. It's the joy. But I do don't. I don't like starting. St I don't like starting. It's, that's true. Starting is is a challenge for you. Yeah, it's a pain. It's the selection of the fabric. It's, it's the horrible. pulling of the threads. It's the horrible. where to start. It's the measuring. And yeah, I know. I've watched. <laughs> it's a painful process <laughs> for you to, to, yeah, to watch to me. Watch her. <laughs> Start a piece. I mean, really, you just sort of sit there and kind of go like, what is going on? Because there are so many choices. So many choices. But even even after the thread has been collected, the fabric has you been still, selected, yes. you will still sit there and, and say, is this, is this the right decision? Yeah. And, but when I decide it is, then, you're, then, then you're, that's it. But it can, and and EJ is not known for making timely decisions. No, we've <laughs> also observed her make a plane reservation. <laughs> I don't think any of us will ever forget that. I think that one is etched in our memories. What Two is it? hours. Because I have, look when you have to coordinate different people's schedule. No, no, no. This was EJ. <laughs> Sitting at a table. You're all the secrets. Making, <laughs> like I said, it's etched. Etched in our memories. Alrighty, so I have your whips? a couple of whips for this week. I picked up because I wanted to complete the center of Ooh. Ink Circles Half the Fun, which was my cruise start piece, which is on Vintage Blue Whisper 32 Count. And I'm using Silks for You PR69. Look at you giving them all the good information. Because I have it all written down. <laughs> you have it all written down. <laughs> Hold on. Where's the front? How do you know? Oh, the top. Yeah. I, I um, So I took uh, the top and mm -hmm. I actually ran this yellow because it was already on the Q snap when I realized I needed to mark it. Uh -huh. And now before I, well, and um, I probably will write top up here mm -hmm. like I always do, but I just ran that yellow, this yellow thread mm -hmm. through my uh, overcast up there. And mm -hmm. then I, I, okay, so PR69 is a silk. Mm -hmm. And I, in the 32 count, so I started out with two strands. Mm -hmm. I, I just automatically go for two strands on 32, 32 count. Correct. It's an automatic kind of response mm -hmm. for me. I think this may still be top. Yeah, that's top. And um, so that's that's the way it looks. That is the center portion, so which pretty. is four hot air balloons. Half the fun is, you know, half the fun of getting there. And all the motifs in this piece are forms of transportation. There's ships, donkeys, buses, uh, every every kind plane. of plane. Yeah, plane. Every cruise ship. Yeah, cruise as, ships. as well as like a sailing yeah. sailing boat. So um, I want helicopter, to, motorcycle. Yeah, the, the, they're all there. They're all there. A car. Car. Uh -huh. um, oh, a unicycle. Yeah, yes, a yeah, unicycle. Um, so I wanted to finish the center motif. Yes. 
which I started on the ship and with two strands of silk. And it looks very thick. It's a little thick, mm -hmm. I think. And so then I thought, hmm, maybe I will stitch the rest of it with one strand. Mm -hmm. so, so I did a test. Oh, and that's where this came Yeah, in. so we can talk about it later um, to see about the coverage using the one strand of Vers the silk. Versus two. Versus two. This is one strand. Yeah, that's one strand. And this is two strands. And that's two strands. Oh, I see. Yeah. So um, I, I also want to find a complementary blue mm -hmm. variegated mm -hmm. to use in for certain of the motifs. I think I want to use a variegation. The ones that you. Yeah, someone was suggested to use all the forms of transportation that I've been on, mm -hmm. but then we concluded that would probably be all of them. Yeah. The only ones that I haven't been on are a donkey and a unicycle. You've never been on a donkey? I've been on a camel. Yeah, that's different. That's different. <laughs> but all the other. I haven't been in a helicopter. But anyway, you've been on this um, sky lift. What yep. are all those things? Yep. Um, you've been on a skateboard? No, where's the skateboard? Right here. Oh, is that a skateboard? Yep. I, oh, or a scooter? Okay, so maybe there's more. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, what is this thing? I don't know what that is. A rocket? A rocket. Is that a rocket? Oh, a rocket. Yeah. Oh. You've been on a rocket? I haven't been on a rocket. <laughs> Well, that number is increasing, so <laughs> maybe I'll use the variegated for the forms of transportation that I have not been on. That works. Yeah, that might work. So anyway. That's, nice. that's good. That's nice. Half the fun. Half the fun. So yeah, I so there's it. still, so I stopped. Mm -hmm. So do you think I should do this two and two? What is that? It's just a design. I think it's made, yeah. Um, I think so. Because that's kind of what I'm asking mm -hmm. about is you see around the balloons that is kind it's like of airflow type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. So I think I'll go back and do that in two strands and then the rest of it. Yes. I'll figure it out as we go along. Yeah. Yeah. So got that. Mm hmm. Oh, no. That's not what you wanted. Yeah. Oh, my. That's all right. I uh, also worked Ooh. on Mojo Stitches Bushland Quaker. This is on 37 count corn tassel, which is a legacy linen. I'm using the call for cottage garden threads and DMC. I'm stitching one thread over two. I worked on, I finished the flower in this motif here. And I started on this motif up here. Nice. Yeah. So I, this is a lot of fun. I, this is a, tr a really a quite a, quite a bit of fun. The stitch flow oh. on this is so comfortable and so pleasant. Yeah, I know you were having trouble with the middle. This, this, yeah, the, the green. But then after that, it's everything's yeah, daisy, yeah. right? Yeah, because I made, I made two compounding errors i found the first one initially and then started stitching and then discovered that there had to be a second one somewhere and by the time i found it i i really had to unstitch most of mm -hmm. the outside I yes think. The yeah outside, outside. yeah but once it's done um which i think i had done the last time i showed it to yes. you yes it's i really do like it a lot a lot. That's good. I love, uh, we, I talked about this when I purchased the chart. I love her spatial use of space mm -hmm. for the different motifs. Very nice. And so those are my whips That's this good. week. Yeah, because I was finishing the Christmas piece, which I had to do a chunk of work on. All righty. So Whips, whip, whips. Okay. Done, done. Haul, stitch your cat that you forgot your haul. I forgot my haul. Okay. So that means we'll have your haul 
a lot of haul next week because I won't have any this week because I'm on a spending freeze freeze because I'm getting ready for Needlework Galleria the end oh, of nice. September. So I have to save my my Coins. cans and bottle tops. <laughs> but I was enabled on my Tuesday Zoom by our stitchy friend Diane, who said, isn't this pretty? <laughs> and we all went, ooh. Ah. So of course, I had to do more than that. This is the GH 1857. A treasure of inspiration. And it is uh, what caught our attention collectively, and certainly mine, was the blues, the use of blue in it. Um, Ooh, yeah. you got it kitted up? Well, I bought it kitted. I went out to uh, 123 Stitch, because that's where we found it mm -hmm. that day while we were talking, and I, I purchased it then and there. So here are all the threads for it. Ooh, wee. Those are all the threads. Nice. And most really spectacularly, uh, I don't need one of these, right? What is that? The silk? See, no, these are all weeks. Uh huh. Uh, cotton. Who's this cat? No, that was LeBron James. That's LeBron James? Yes. He and came out. Yeah, he must have wanted some water. I don't know how far oh. he came. Oops. So these are the oh, blues. The blues are nice. The blues are very, so it's a Overa Swa a Weeks Glacial Melt, which I've used before and like, and mm -hmm. Deep Sea. Those are the blues. Those are pretty. Yes. And uh, I didn't buy fabric because I must have, everybody teases me about this, but I must have a uh, 85% of all the beige colors <laughs> out there out there in my fabric collection so I'll just pick something thanks very nice look at the back wow look at yeah, this one it comes with all the smalls that you should oh yeah the smalls that are also in that booklet and this is by um Atelier Sword Ide S O E D I D E E. Sword, 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 E D. E yes, very pretty, very nice. I guess it's a design house. Mm -hmm. And then Simone de Jean Van Wiesen is the designer. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, very, very, nice. very nice. Well worth it, I thought. Mm -hmm. the, the book. Very excited about that. And it's just been sitting on my craft table for today. Mm -hmm. um, and I keep staring at it. Oh, no, 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 don't stare, don't stare. Oh, don't stare, don't stare. <laughs> and then I bought this little piece of blue fabric because it was on sale. And maybe I might put a small on that. It says, um, it's just a little piece of blue gray linen, um, Zweigart that they had. Price was right. <laughs> Alrighty. That was my haul. That's your haul? That's my haul. Yeah, I don't have a haul. Okay, plans. I wanted to talk about your plans. My plan is to continue arbitrary August. Okay. So if you want to see daily, what do you call that? Progress? Yes. Um, Check out my uh, Instagram, EJ underscore creates, or you can just wait weekly <laughs> and see it all at once with some stories thrown in. Um, yeah, so arbitrary August, I do use my decision wheel and I would show you my wheel, but uh, we're filming on my phone. So it's tiny decisions. Um, it's in, oh, I have an iOS, so it's in that app store, but there is also, I don't know if they're, I don't know if they have tiny decisions in the Android or Google store, but I know they do have wheels. Something similar. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Um, so that's my arbitrary August. Okay. Boom. 
Also, don't forget that in September, we have Sampler September. Sampler September. Yes, so don't forget that. Oh, and World Cross Stitch Day is August 12th. Oh, how much fun is that? Yeah. Oh, I was wondering. I thought it, I knew it was this month, mm -hmm. and I wondered what day. So mark your calendars. Take the day off. It's a Friday. <laughs> and just stitch all day. That's right. Well, I think that's a holiday. Yes. I'm putting it on my calendar. It, as you should. So August 12th, World Cross Stitch Day. Okay. We're going to have fun. All righty. And also, August mm -hmm. is, um, uh, so uh, the Daron Designer Focus um, for this year, August is Bent Creek. So what Bent yes. Creek do you have? I have, um... Uh, I have a lot more trilogy than I do mm -hmm. Bent Creek. Mm -hmm. And the reason is because um, the designer in Bent Creek is was also a member of the design team for trilogy. Yes. So it's Bent Creek slash, slash trilogy. Correct. Let me do that. So I have to try to remember. Okay. So I have some oldies and goodies. I've got I've gotten these on um, D stashes or something. Oh, nice. Yeah, because I've never been to Stitchcraft. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's in San Diego. Oh. <laughs> this is Bent Creek Snappy Sampler charts oh. and snaps. Oh, do I have a snap? No snaps. So this is just basically the alphabet. I have Bank Creek, I do. I was gonna stitch this for my sister. It has the alphabet and the I do and their initials and date of birth, date of wedding. Wedding date, yeah. So I just probably just give it to her. Yeah. Since she yeah. stitches now. Yeah, yeah. Surely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is red, um, once upon a stitch. Little Red Riding Hood. I love and I love the alphabet, like the way they placed the alphabet yes. and it made it into a word. Oh nice. Cute. I have Teacher Row. Oh yes. By Bet Creek, Teacher Row. So all the stuff that all the little things that you need to teach. They also have lots of other rows. Yes. Kitty Row. Puppy row, neighborhood row. I can't read that row. <laughs> and that last row. <laughs> Spring row and summer row. <laughs> yeah, so. Let me see kitty row. <laughs> oh, how cute. All the cats. Very cute. You could change them to your cats. I know, and the colors are pretty good too. Mm -hmm. We also have, I also have Trilogy Valentine Spots. So it has different uh, Valentine motifs. I have the Trilogy Cardiology. <laughs> or it has little heart motifs. Love and all that goodness. Cardiology, the trilogy. Oh, and here are the design houses or the designers behind trilogy. We have Bent Creek, Twisted, twisted Threads, and Hand and Heart. Heart and Hand. Heart and Hand, what did I say? Hand and Heart. <laughs> oh, sorry, Hand and Heart. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Heart in hand. Okay, I also have. So that was cardiology. This is summerology. They have like summer motifs. And then I have this, um, it's called 
Summer Sneak Peek. Yeah, there you go. Oh, it's a series? It's a series, and then it's like three of them together. Like, each one gives you a portion of it. Oh, okay. And then the last one gives you the first one, the first square and the border. Would that be the first one? Well, yeah. You said the last one. Or one of the three. Okay, 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 okay. Um, so, like, they give you, like, you only see part of their nose. That's yeah. why I call it sneak peek. Oh. Yes. Oh, I see, I see, I see. And this is the way, this is it at the end. Oh, yes. Down here at the bottom. Very cute. Mm-hmm. Wait, is it? yeah, that's the same one. Yeah. yeah. And then that, that was um, summer sneak peek. I also have autumn sneak peek. Where you have the first one, which is the border and the little leaf girl. You have Scarecrow and the turkey. And then you have Kitty and the crows. And then together, excuse me, it looks like this. That's all for me. Woo. Okay, I sat here and I was so enthralled with yours, I neglected to, uh, to take yours out. Yeah. It's all right. It's, all right. it's okay. It's okay. So those are my uh, uh, Big, Big Creek slash trilogy um, pieces. All righty. And so my August plans... I feel that I have been away from my daily rotation for several months and I'm, I'm feeling like it, I, oh, I gotta get, oh, I gotta get back. Okay, I must've gone with this. I'm trying to keep these organized. Yes. Um, so I did my schedule for the month of August. Um, and- Look at that. You, I've, I've gone back and I've tried to find whips that I think I can finish in a day mm -hmm. or get real close really? in a day. Wow. Now, a couple of them are definitely not close to finishes like Seaside Sampler and my French magazine, but these are ones that I really enjoy working on and, and wanted to pick them up again. Mm -hmm. um, so I... But I have selected every Monday for the month of August is Bent Creek Monday. Nice. I had, it turns out that I had four of the photo booth left. So it, it worked out perfectly. Um, and I will also pick up my button box, grandma's button box. I've seen it finished now from two different people. I'm really? Like, yes. So I'm like, really, Sheila? <laughs> you must finish that box. So I'm very excited about the month of August because I'm back on my daily rotation. Yay. I'm excited about the pieces that I've selected and, and really looking forward to uh, working on them. Mm -hmm. So I didn't bother to look for Trilogy because I already knew I wanted to focus on um, Bent Creek uh -huh. for a long time for August. Mm -hmm. And these are the last four I think I will have completed the entire series. And you have them. And I, I, I have them. Mm -hmm. So this is Photo Booth Easter Surprise. Let me get closer. Okay. Pictures aren't that great. I blew them up and it, it didn't oh. help that much. This is Love Happens. Oh, they, they're... Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness, Cupid at work. They notice each other. <laughs> they fall in love. They're now together. Uh, Irish luck to you. What does that say? 
Oh, look at this. Luck of the Irish to you. Super cute. And this is Flags and Friends. Oh, who's, you? this is your first time? You did not do this already? No, no, it looks like the- Turkey Hollywood. one. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. So this is um, Guy with the Hat. Yeah. With the eagle. Uncle Sam and the, and the eagle. <laughs> They're so cute. They're all small. They're all <laughs> like- Oh my God, I thought it was a, I, I thought that was a turkey. No. Like what? Yeah, but it's not the yeah, they're all like 32 by 109, so yes. they're they don't take They're super long. cute. Yeah, and I remember you stitching the other two like a couple of years ago. Yeah, no, I stitched like nine or ten of them. How long ago? Uh, several years ago, yeah. definitely. Yeah, for before sure. they, before the uh, 2019, and they all came with fabric. Perfect. I don't think I picked that fabric. I think they came with the fabric. Yeah, because of the price, they all came with fabric. So those are my plans for August. So very, very exciting. So what are your plans for this week? So this week I will be working on, well, today I'll be working on Needles Dance. Oh, nice. By Hands On Design. Yes, it's been a minute. Uh, tomorrow will be Seaside Sampler, which is Rosewood Manor. Mm -hmm. Flags and Friends. Yes. Ben Creek. Mm -hmm. uh, time to Gather, which is Hands On Design. Design. And that's yes. a small. It is a small. Yeah. Um, and you're almost done with mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Uh, Revision, which is from the Ma a Merveille magazine. magazine. Beautiful French magazine. Which which has a lot of special, it's like a specialty stitch uh, sampler. It looks so delicate. It does. Mm -hmm. It does. Um, Ink Circles, Another Year Creeps By. Nice. I'll also stick with Ink Circles the next day and Three Little Kittens. Yes. And yeah, that, that'll take me up to Friday. Yes. So it's very much yes. a cross section, uh, ink circles being the most represented, but it's a whole smorgasbord of themes yes. and types and wonderfulness. Goodiness. Yes, 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 yes. I can't believe I left my haul. I know. Was it a, a lot of haul or just that you? Oh, you had your. Um, your cottage garden thread, thread of the month that I think you could, or did you show it last video? I have to show, um, I can only show it July 28th. So, so it would have been. Oh, shoot. Video. Yeah. We're in August. <gasps> yeah. Oh my God. Okay, so now you can remember that for next week. <laughs> yeah, I can too. remember that. I have it. It's in the box. Okay, so announcements. <laughs> we have, so oh. we want to thank everyone, all of our winners. Congratulations again for our mega empty the box giveaway. Woo! And thank you, thank you for watching our videos and hanging in there with us for all this time. Yes. So it's been three years, 197 videos. And a text. And a text. Oh a breakup text. Oh my God. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so we had quiet uh, moments. Yeah, we, we had have four people, right? We have four people who we still need to hear from. We need to hear from Mama Goose Stitches, who won the Wildlife of Wyoming series Wolves. We need to hear from Susan H, who won Christmas Land by Raise the Roof Designs. And Backstitch Crazy, who won the one, two, the three uh, charts from the Country Cottage Needleworks Classic Collection. Oh, the one more person. Yes. Mary Beth Fowler, Mary Beth Fowler, who won Santa's Great Book, which is a leisure arts. So if we don't hear from you by next Friday, we to... will select uh, four new winners. Yes. And if and again, if you reach out to us after 
we we'll always say Thursday because Friday you'll make the, the new selection. So by Thursday, August 11th, 11th, 2022. Oh, that's right, because the 12th is World Cross, World Cross Day. Yeah. If we don't hear from you by Thursday, August 11th, we will uh, move on and select new people. Yes. So, um, so please contact us. Please contact us. So again, thank you to everybody who reached out to us, sent us your email, um, your your uh, mailing address. Mm -hmm. um, last week, I was on a mailing frenzy. Yes. I was at the post office last Wednesday morning. Uh, post office opened at 8. I was there at 8.30, and I had everything all prepared. We had three international shipments. And do remember, whenever we do giveaways, we do ship internationally. Mm -hmm. uh, we appreciate the fact uh, that you are watching our videos yes. from wherever you are, because we watch your videos from where yeah, we yeah. are. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. So thank you. Thank you very much. And folks, please do get in touch. All righty. I believe. Did we say it all? Say I it think all? we said it all. So Did we say too much? <laughs> we probably said too much. Did I say too much? I probably said too much. <laughs> We're going to cut some parts out. So, so don't forget, no matter where, where you, you are, are the sun is always shining when you're stitching. Bye.